Chinese My Singing Monsters, roughly translated into Monster Choir, has always been shrouded in a degree of mystery. There's a high chance you didn't know there was a Chinese version of My Singing Monsters, having separate servers with completely different features from the base game, more ways to gamble, a VIP system, and hundreds of monster variants. It is really an enigma. I'm Redis, and let's break this down. On April 14, 2014, just after My Singing Monsters experienced its first wave of popularity, two versions of Monster Choir released, being the Korean and Chinese versions. These versions were licensed to Yodo One Games, not BBB, meaning that Monster Choir wasn't listed on BBB's website. In its lifespan, both versions saw limited success, with them shutting down in early 2022. They saw 11 updates in their 9 years of being released, with most of them being quality of life changes. This meant there wasn't much development of the game after release, which is honestly kinda sad. Both of the versions had a small, yet loyal community backing it. Now I assume most of you already know the core gameplay of My Singing Monsters, with Monster Choirs being very similar, being to collect monsters on islands, expand on songs, etc. But it is the unique features and differences from My Singing Monsters that makes it really stand out. Now let's start with the differences between the base game and Monster Choir, and then get into specific unique features. The Korean version of the game has this woody UI, which actually looks pretty clean. A lot of the currency's artwork was redone, along with the water, earth, shadow, and fire elements. The market in the Korean version also looks really nice, and the Chinese version used UI similar to the 2.0 release. There's a lot of other UI differences, but those were the main ones. On to the biggest difference between the base game and Monster Choir, being the addition of monster variants, which are similar to rare and epic monsters. There are 29 unique Korean and Chinese variants, and 23 present on both versions. It is likely that many variants have been forgotten, with much more documentation needed. Some cool facts about the variants include the reusing of other monster sprites in their redesigns, like Bamboo, he rocks reusing one of Sox's feet, and Horn Reeling reusing one of Scups' horns for the end of its reads. And many of the variants are also references to pop culture, like Yolk Mehmet being a minion, and Worried Mouse Socks being a Pikachu. Some of my favourite include the Lettuce Octopus, Lemon Ghast, and Coral Jubilee. We need the Lemon Ghast in the main game as a costume to be a form of tribute to Monster Choir. But anyways, you can obtain variants through the game's first completely unique feature, being the Gotcha Machine. The Gotcha Machine is yet another way to gamble, just what we needed. It dispenses eggs of all types of monsters, including the variants. In the Chinese version, there are three tiers of the Gotcha Machine, being bronze, silver, and gold, each costing tickets of their respective tier or gems. The higher the tier, the better the variants. Each kind of ticket could be obtained through login rewards. The Korean version is a bit different. There are two main gotcha machines and a special events one. The standard one is used for monsters needing one or two beds, with the advanced one being used for monsters needing three to five beds. The event machine is used to obtain summer variants, only available during the summer, which was hosted on Plant Island, costing a rainbow ticket. Bronze tickets could be used for the standard machine, with gold tickets being used for the advanced one. Likewise with the Chinese version, these tickets could be obtained through daily logins. Onto the VIP system, which is probably the most confusing part of the game, as it has little information regarding its details online. From what I understand, it is a paid leveling system, granting you more benefits the more levels you purchased. In the Chinese version, paying for VIP 6 times, granting you VIP 6, would give you a free daily draw from the silver tier, with VIP 12 giving a free daily draw from the gold tier. In the Korean version, VIP 1 gives a free daily draw from the standard machine, with VIP 12 giving a free daily draw from the advanced machine. What's confusing about the VIP system is the purpose of VIP levels in between the levels needed to get a free daily draw. I couldn't find any information online explaining this, but if I had to think of something probably that the higher VIP level you were, the higher chances of getting a better variant out of any of the gotcha machines were. But that's just what I'm theorizing, as it's unclear as to what VIP levels actually did in between daily draws. One of the most interesting things about the Chinese version was the unique Rockstar DJ minigame. It was a rhythm game where you would tap notes to remix versions of Plant, Cold, Air, Water, and Earth Island. After playing, you would be rated out of 3 stars and given a reward based on how you performed. There was also a competitive leaderboard at the end of each week. I really like this feature, and I'd love to see additions like this expanded onto the base game. I think at some point we can't just keep on adding new islands and monsters. The Colosseum was a poor attempt at this, but I'd love to see more things like this in our modern game. As to how it would look, I'm not completely sure, but a rhythm minigame would be fun. And besides these features, there wasn't really much different about the two versions. There are a few extra details that I find interesting, which I do want to mention. Reading cost a gold on the Chinese version, and also on the Chinese version, you would be given this currency for leveling up a monster, placing them, and other actions. I have no clue what this currency is called, or what it would do, so if anyone who's played Monster Choir is watching this, please clear this up in the comments. Members of the Monster Choir community gave this guy the nickname She, and the animal chorister is based off six animals for the Chinese zodiac calendar. And during summer, Plant Island had a summer variation, which looks really clean. Three trailers released in the Korean version of the game, which are also interesting, so I'll link them down in the description for you to watch, along with the credits of the footage that I used in this video. The biggest thing that you can do right now is like and subscribe. Use my friend code for Steam. Love you guys.